In the Seeker world, sometimes there are no answers to be found, no matter how hard we look. Hello, welcome to Questions. This is a short form lore series where I try to keep it as spoiler light as possible and simply raise the questions rather than providing the answers. Today, I return to something I did before and present for you The Unanswered, part two. Here is just a brief roundup of various questions that have come up in my journey through Kingsmith that I really don't have an answer for, but are nonetheless interesting observations. First on our agenda, where did he get those wonderful toys? Danny Dufresne has a really impressive arsenal. Barbed wire, bear traps, C4, but for some reason, no gun. The sheriff won't let him have one. But she's okay with the rest of this? Did the League of Monster Slayers have this stocked up? Did he raid the National Guard warehouse? I don't know. Is it supposed to look like this? Here at the n northwestern part of Priest Island, we're very close to the fog, and it seems like reality itself is breaking down. The water's all ghostly, and, you know, this little flash might be a graphical glitch, but is the water effect intentional? So is this a glitch, or does it potentially mean something? Either way, it's pretty unsettling. The mission that brings us to Scrapyard Edgar has us following a keychain that we found with a corpse tied to an engine block. Then we find another corpse in the trunk of a car with all this money. I mean, did Edgar know about this? The key says no questions asked. Did he do it himself? Either way, why leave the money here? Edgar is a pretty shady guy, but... How shady is he? Well, buried an arm in his backyard, shady. Was this a zombie? I hope it was a zombie. How in the world did this little thing actually get trapped in the toilet? I mean, it's gotta have enough lift to get out of there. And for that matter, why was it surveying Edgar's scrapyard? To end the Kingsmith portion of Dawning of an Endless Night, you can either look at this map, or look at the flight itinerary. This, note this last customer. Was this one Cassie? I can kind of picture her doing a Finnish accent. Okay, where did these Vikings come from? I know this isn't much of a question, because later on the answer is just given to us, but if you're new, appreciate just how weird this is. And if you're an older player, remember what it was like to run into this the first time and think, what the hell? Along the same lines, this stone table with its own spotlight. Think of how long it took before we got any explanation for this. And along the same lines of things that older players take for granted that new players might find a little strange. Who is selling pumpkins out in the middle of nowhere? Granted, this will probably become important this Halloween, but until then, just weird, isn't it? Lastly, there's this fire, clearly from this crashed plane, and we can even see the fire truck which wrecked on its way, but how long has it been burning by the time we get here? Why hasn't it gone out? Thank you for watching this video. Next Thursday, we move on to the Savage Coast. And on Tuesday, I'll be providing another batch of The Unasked, where I will point out small little details that you probably didn't even question. If you like what we do here, then please consider showing your support on Patreon. Otherwise